Hi, this is Sachlin Singh, Technical Evangelist at Autodesk, and I want to take the next couple of minutes to show you how to build motion studies in Fusion 360. Now, what is a motion study? It's functionality that lets you animate the joints that you've created within an assembly model in Fusion 360. And depending on the limits or motion that you've restricted or given the joints that you've put in, it lets you animate exactly how that assembly is going to function. So as an example, we're going to take a look at this specific tripod. And what I want to take a look at is this specific motion. So the leg for the tripod can go in and out. So there's a revolute joint right here at the top of the tripod. And there's also a slider joint that lets the leg collapse within itself to collapse the tripod. So there's a couple of joints there that I want to animate to take a look at what it would look like when this tripod collapses and expands in a motion study. So from the assemble dropdown within Fusion in the model workspace, you want to go to motion study and that starts or creates a new motion study for you. One of the first joints that I want to animate is this revolute joint right here. So I'm going to select it and notice that it shows up in the list within the motion study dialog box. Now the motion study has two axes. It has the X axis, which is really just points or you can add points at different steps. So this would be adding a point at 10 steps or 20 steps. Um, you can almost think of it as time as 10 seconds or 20 seconds, except that you can speed it up or slow it down. But think of the x-axis almost as time. Um, we call it steps or points um, here within Fusion. And the y-axis is really extents. So this is a revolute joint. So the y-axis in this case, which is distance or extents, uh, would be degrees. So let's go ahead and build that in. So one of the first points that I want to build in, let's say is at the 10th step, so step 10, and let's give it an angle of 10 degrees. Now I might need to change the direction of that angle to a negative 10 based on which side that motion is. So let's take a look at that. So you'll see that leg went in the right amount. So that's the right, that's the right angle. I don't need to create a negative value. You'll see me put in a negative value for at least one of these legs and you'll understand what I mean there. So the next Step here would be to add a point at the 20 step mark. So step 20 and let's make that angle 20 degrees. And I worked with this assembly so I know that when it's at 20 degrees, it's actually perfectly vertical. So excellent. That's animating one joint. I want to go ahead and pick another joint to start animating this assembly. So let's pick the revolute joint about another one of these legs. There you go. And do the same thing. So at the 10 step mark, I want to make it 10 degrees. And that went in the wrong direction. So you can just simply click on the point and edit it. So I'm going to make it negative 10 and that went in. Excellent. And at the 20 step mark, I'm going to make it negative 20. And you'll see now both of those legs are collapsed in. Let's go ahead and look at the last revolute joint and just for the sake of repetition, make sure we've really got this. Taking a look at the tripod, you'll notice that the legs, all three legs are completely collapsed um, with respect to the revolute joint. Now the next thing that I want to deal with is the slider joint that we built in. So let's make sure that the slider joints are showing. And I'm going to simply go ahead and click the slider joint. Note it's added to the list of joints in the motion study. I want to click on the 10th step and say, let's take this in. Let's start with 20 millimeters and we can play with that distance. So the right distance to take it in would be probably a negative 25. Let's go ahead and do that. So I want to add another point for that slider joint and take it in all the way. So the leg is completely collapsed and put in a negative 50. So let's go ahead and do that with each one of the slider joints. There you go. Completely collapsed tripod. Now I want it to go back and forth to show me how the tripod expands and collapse or I could put it in a loop or I could just show the motion one way. So going back, let's take a look at each one of these options and make sure the speed is at a minimum. So this is just one way from expansion to complete collapse and it stops. I can go back and forth so that it collapses 
and expands back up again and collapses and expands back out again. Or I could go into a loop where it expands and collapses and then just loops that over again and again. And that's how you build a motion study in diffusion. So just based on, with respect to time, how you want to show and animate your product, you can go ahead and build in motion studies to quickly and easily do that based on the geometry you've created. Thanks for watching.